our speaker. Our speaker uh, is Gregory Jerome. If you guys do not know Gregory, please reach out and listen to his story and learn more about him because I know the 15, 20 minutes he gets today is not enough. And it's just not enough. And I wish I could give him more because his story is so impactful and powerful. Please get to know him. Uh, he's doing amazing things. And uh, it, it's just such an inspirational and powerful story. Um, when I met him, I heard the story and said, will you please share this with our community? It's that powerful. And, and I, I need you to just share this. Is that okay? And he was super grateful and gracious about it. And, uh, and he's here today. So I'm really excited. Um, a little bit about him. He's passionate about human empowerment, self-expression through style. With over two decades of experience in the music and fashion industry, he's witnessed a wider range of cultural fashion trends. Uh, Jerome, our, Jerome's artistic gifts allow him to create personalized wardrobe he needs utilizing accessories, footwear made to measure custom garments. Uh, he's worked with companies such as Dillard's Will Wilson's Leather Coach, uh, Taylor Grant, and Henry Davidson. Uh, those are my, just a little bit about him. I mean, huge, huge names, and he's been doing the image consulting. Uh, he's in the image consulting world. But without further ado, I'm not going to take up any more of his time. Gregory Jerome, sir, the stage is yours. Thank you. Appreciate it, Jeff. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking time out today to even listen to me, because I know you could be in any other place in the world, but you're here with me today, right? Um, so today I will be discussing about the power of image. Uh, as Jeff stated, I have over two decades in the uh, social work slash fashion industry slash music industry. Uh, so I've, I've come across a lot of different people uh, in life and helping them in different mediums as my chapter in life uh, provides me the opportunity to. Uh, so today we're going to get into the power of image. This is going to be an interactive uh, speech conversation. Uh, so this is a safe space. You can uh, feel free to you know, ask questions, uh, answer the questions. Your input is grateful, greatly appreciated as well. So the power of image. Why is visual communication so powerful? It isn't just because of the cool photos. It's straight up science. The brain absorbs and synthesizes information from more than any other stimuli, making your personal brand highly effective. And old cliche states, a picture's worth a thousand words. What does your image say about you? Confidence, power, respect. People perceive a person's competence, partly based on the subtle economic cues emanating from a person's clothing. According to a study published in Nature Human Behavior by Princeton University, these judgments are made in a matter of milliseconds and are not very hard to avoid. I'd like to introduce you to the world of fashion psychology. It is defined as the study of the impact of clothes choices on the way in which we perceive and judge each other. Thank you, Adam and Eve. Some of us greatly appreciate it. On the other side of the spectrum, we visit how clothing affects mental health and well being. The most common factors are emotional, cognitive, behavioral, and perceptual. Over the fast over the past 19 months, 53% of adults reported anxiety, depression, with 41% experienced behavioral health conditions. Reflect back during this time of the pandemic, what was the traditional attire? Leisure wear, that's right. Have you ever contemplated your relationship with clothes? perhaps considering the psychological factors. Some studies have, <clears throat> sorry, some studies show that clothes you choose affect your moods and attitudes. We either shop emotionally due to the breakup or wear clothes to make us feel better. in clothed cognition relates to the effect which clothing has on the mental process to think and to function in the areas of intention and abstract thinking. Researchers from North, Northwestern University in the US found that wearing specific clothing had an effect on the wearer's performance. The behavior consists 
of our engagement and etiquette. In my opinion, the most important factor is the perceptual. How others view us is important, but not as important how we view ourselves. Today, I bring you the power of image based on true life experience. These names have been changed in order to protect the innocent. Over the past two decades, I've dedicated my skills, gifts, and talents in the arenas of social work, music, and fashion. The journey has taken me into depths of underserved communities and the heights of the elite. Amongst them all, there's one commonality. Raise your hand if you would like to guess what it is. Anyone? Anyone want to take a guess? Somebody raise your hand and I'll call on you. Yeah, two pages of history here, Barry. All right. If no one wants to raise their hand, Charlie, that's fine. Charlie, what you got? Well, I got to talk to my friend, Jerome. Jerome, I think it's people want to stand out. They want to be visible to people. Okay. Everybody wants to stand out. The commonality. Anybody else? We say everyone wants to feel connected in the same. Not that they want to stand out because that's dangerous. They want to feel like they can relate to the other people. All right. I like the way you all think. So the commonality, thank you all for both. There's no wrong answers, by the way. But between these two demographics of the underserved and the elite, the commonality of all is clothing. We all wear clothes, right? So let's consider your shopping. I would like for you to think about your inspirations or intentions when selecting clothing. Are you inspired by the peers or celebrities? Is your intention to be accepted into a social class or make an unforgettable statement on a first date? Ah, the first date client, Carlos. I was working at DXL in Southgate, California as a wardrobe consultant. For anyone who is not familiar with South Los Angeles, this is predominantly a Latino community that faces obesity. So Carlos enters the store, standing at 5'8", pushing a little bit over 300 pounds. I immediately greeted him. Welcome to DXL. Is there anything I can help you with? Just let me know. After a short browse around the store, he approaches me. We exchange names, introduce myself, and then ask, how can I assist you? He begins to secretly tell me he's having his first date, and this is the first time he will ever see her. Yes, I found this quite odd, yet I continue to listen. He mentioned he had low self-esteem to his weight and wanted to feel confident, slimming, and attractive. Not to mention, he wanted to be himself. After a few fact-finding questions and proper fitting measurements, he was well on his way. Before making his exit, he informs me he will return with the date results. A week later, Carlos returns with a smile bigger than Texas, only to inform me how well the date went, even more how she complimented on his style, further expressing how authentic and natural he was to be himself with a touch of coolness. The results you may be asking, well, let's just say he's in a position to win. And that's the power of image. Clothes make the man. Clothes reflect who you are, how you feel at the moment, and sometimes even what you want to achieve in life. Always remember, whatever you wear should reflect the real you. Your dressing sense reflects your personality, character, mood, style, and what actually you are as an individual. We are challenged by life uncertainties. A client of mine, we will call her Ruth. Ruth is currently undergoing a revitalization. Five years ago, she lost her husband. This is some pretty unimaginable pain that devastated her world. She expressed how dealing with depression, weariness, and feeling hopeless had affected her personal and professional life. Ruth informed me on how the bag boys at the grocery store would treat her. She said, they treat me like I'm weak. 
ask me if I need extra bags to carry my groceries. With enthusiasm, I'm strong, she implied. I could do nothing but agree. That's right, you tell him, you're strong. During our consultation, Ruth expressed how she wanted to live again, to show the world who she is by expressing her personality and strength. We were able to select complementary fabric textures and colors for her undertones, identifying the best constructed and form-fitting garments for her body type. Once she was completed, she shared her, tradition, her transitional experience with the world, relaying how rejuvenating she felt, how she had little more pep to her step, and the impact it had on creating new business opportunities. That's the power of image. Speaking of opportunities, by the show of hands, how many of you believe clothing creates or even open doors of opportunity? Raise your hand if you. Wendy, what do you got? I was just raising my hand. I totally agree. Oh, yeah, this is a, an agreement. Oh, right? I'm sorry, Gregory. That's OK. It's OK. I'm yeah. like, I'm in and agreement your, with Gregory. <laughs> raise your hand if you have personally witnessed or experienced this. This is all about being relatable. For those who partially or have no relationship at all with the following questions, I would like to welcome you to an interesting experience. In your mind, imagine a homeless man. Ask yourself, would this person have access to the Ritz Carlton? Would this person have the opportunity to interview at the top firms? Would you provide them with an opportunity of any sort? In the fall of 2019, a few months prior to the pandemic, I was in a transition of life that positioned me of being homeless. During this time, I fell into a deep door of depression while holding on to ropes of anxiety and self-dignity. It was a chemical imbalance. I took pride in the way I groomed and presented myself because I knew I knew it was the only thing that I had left in order of creating an opportunity. This comes from my experience of assisting others that face similar situations in life. I took the only good suit I had that had a hole in a crotch. Memories. Despite the anxiety, this suit created and boosted confidence. I felt impeccable and valuable. This would allow me to enter into spaces that traditional homeless people would not be accepted to. It provided me with the opportunity to speak and communicate. As I applied for several positions with top-notch brands and companies in the retail space, some were interested until they found out I was homeless. This was a learning experience not to disclose that information of being homeless. Once I applied the knowledge of that, the interviews went dramatically different. After several months of navigating the world of unemployment, I decided to take a leap of faith, traveling to Philadelphia from Los Angeles and applied for top luxury brand retail stores. After a small amount of interviews, I had an offer on the table at a custom clothes their boutique store in the most affluent community in Philadelphia. Now, I must say, it was a bold choice to make when implying, knowing I had only some experience in the custom garment world. I was confident in being an asset to the company, even while being homeless. At the initial interview, my stride was nice and cool yet internally sweating bullets, thinking it's now or never. As I greeted the interviewer, he complimented me on my best suit with a hole in a crotch. At that point, I realized I was in the door. Throughout the conversation, I was able to deliver knowledge and experience with pure confidence 
In addition, I was able to negotiate a 100% commission job into a six month decreasing salary and a company credit card, I might add. The moon and the stars aligned and I accepted the position. I believe things would not have gone that way if the suit was obsolete. It provided me with the assurance of who I am while walking with my head high. And that's the power of image. Understand, clothes make the man. Clothes reflect who you are, how you feel at the moment, and sometimes even what you want to achieve in life. Always remember, you, what you wear should reflect the real you. Your dressing sense reflects your personality, character, mood, style, and what you actually are as an individual. Thank you. Drew, back to oh, you, sir. That's